So I'm doing a video here on how to arrange your coolant system for your Chevy LS. Um, and excuse the noise, every now and then you might hear some grinding or pounding or something. These guys are working on the seawall next to me here across the canal. Anyway, so uh, comes from the lake, comes out of the comes out of the uh, out drive lake, lake water right here comes through the water pump. This is one of those Johnson water pumps. I don't know if you can see the part number on there. It's Johnson water pump. So it comes out of the uh, water pump into the oil cooler slash power steering cooler, which is right down there. And then from there, comes out of the, out of the power steering cooler through this line here, which is loops kind of underneath the engine. Comes into this uh, T right here. This is a inch and a quarter inlet and inch and a one inch outlet so comes out of the T and if you can see here if you can see underneath there comes into the exhaust manifolds right in here comes into the exhaust manifolds through this line into the exhaust manifolds fills up the manifolds water comes in at like say 50 40 60 degrees whatever the lake temperature is um, warms up in the exhaust manifolds and then when the manifolds get up to temperature this starts to warm up the water comes out of the manifolds some of the man some of the water comes out of the manifolds here um, now these water necks or these riser these risers have inside here there is a uh, there's two transfer tubes inside here you can't see them but in between here transfers the water from the bottom to the top and some of the water exits out the uh, risers now the uh, now the the water whatever's left or what's 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 left of uh, the water uh, some of the water comes into this tube right here and then you can see there's a T T fitting right there comes out of the T fitting into the water neck or the uh, thermostat housing which is right here um, thermostat housing it's right there so thermostat housing goes into the block at say a hundred and uh, ten degrees now this one here they have block offs for the uh, heater hoses so those are not being used so you can loop them if you want you can do anything you want. It doesn't really matter. The thermostat is going to open when this thing hits like 160 degrees. I got a 160 degree thermostat in this. Water uh, goes through the block, as you can see. Water exits the block through the um, top of the top port, out of the uh, block, through the water pump, out of the block uh, water pump into this T from the. Oh, sorry. Into the T. Uh, comes out of the T and into the top of the exhaust man exhaust riser, and then from there exits out the uh, out the block of the engine. So that's how you set this up. This is how you're going to have to do it. Um, now, additional to this uh, video here, I wanted to show you everybody. This is a system that Harden Marine makes. Um, I have it on this other engine. I'm not, I'm actually going to change this. This uh, this system here, in my opinion, does not make the water hot enough. The engine needs to be more than 110 degrees. With this system right here, even though it's got 180 degree thermostat, it comes with it. This block does not get over 110 degrees. Um, some guys say, well, you know, you could. You can block off uh, one of these uh, house, uh, hoses here. I got one on this one, and the other one actually blocked off, and that helped a little bit, but still didn't get uh, the temperature I wanted, um, which is like, I like 160, 170. Some guys like them a little hotter. So they, this thing doesn't work. I mean, you want your engine to be 110 degrees, it's fine with me, but to me, that's not, uh, not hot enough. So, um, of course, you know, they, what they do is they put the thermostat, thermostats in this housing right here. 
And then all this is just that this exit or actually an entrance water comes in on this system. The water comes in here um, and then it comes out of the block right here and into the water um, into this housing right here and hits the thermostat. But the problem is it just bypasses um, bypasses the system and the water never gets above 110 degrees, 120 maybe. You run it really hard, but in my opinion, not enough. So, all right. Well, that ends my video here of how to convert your um, Marine Chevy LS seawater sea pump uh, conversion if you want water that's over 160 degrees. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.